Hello, welcome back. So today is a completely different vlog for you guys. I'm so excited. I may not look at it, but it's because I've been rushing around making sure that I've got everything sorted in the house before I leave. As you could tell by the title, I'm going to the hairdressers. Yes, I'm so excited. I was supposed to have it done last week, but my hairdresser fell poorly and obvious, for obviously reasons and safety of myself and others. She stayed off work all this week. Um, she's back to her good old self again. So I thought I would take you along to show you what I was having done and what the whole hairdressing experience is like now the new rules are in place with the whole, I'm not looking forward to this bit, but wearing a mask for the whole entire time because I do struggle wearing the masks in shops. I have limited going to the shops now purely because of the mask situation. Um, because yeah, it, it, they just get me hot basically. Um, there's no other reason. So, excuse me, I'm out of breath. I've literally just run up the stairs, got all my bedroom, tidied up, opened the window ready, done all the kids' lunch and everything else. So yeah, um, it's going to take about four to five hours, my hair. As you can see, it's super, super long. Like it almost touches my butt. Um, and it's just a normal brown. This is all my natural colour, except for, like if you see the very ends, I've just got like a lighter tinge is when Chanel, I think it was about two years ago, ombre the tips of my hair. But I've actually had it cut since then as well. So this is just literally the last little tips and I'm having that cut off today. So I'm probably going to have about that much cut off. Um, and I'm having blonde put in and it all ombre, and then all down the front. I'm um, going to have it all feathered and obviously cut. And because it's um, two different colours and then everything else, it's going to take that long by the time they... Well, you all know, guys, how long it takes in the hairdressers anyway. And then when you've got long hair and you're having two to three different um, colours put into your hair for the perfect style, it takes a while. So... Yes, super excited. So I've got to leave in about 10 minutes. So I'm just going to pack my bag now, remember the masks. I'm going to walk to the shop to get a nice flavoured water because they can't supply you with any drinks or anything like that now. Um, so I'm probably going to pick up a magazine because they can't supply those either. So a magazine, a bottle of water, I've had my lunch. So that should do me now for the next five hours. As you can see behind me, they've got screens up each section. Hopefully you can hear me under the mask. But uh, yeah, they've got screen sections and then you have to sanitize your hands before you sit down. And then all their brushes are... Right, so I'm currently on my third hour, and as you can see, I'm getting a bit of a sweaty forehead. Still got a load at the back, and then all this. My hairdresser's just gone to mix a bit more uh, bleach. But yeah, we're getting there. Three hours in, guys. Right, so finally the foils are finished. I don't know if you can hear me over this mask. So now I've got to leave this on for about 15 more minutes and then it'll get rinsed off and then we'll start the toning process. Before I give you a quick update, so we are coming up to, we are five minutes away from five hours. I've got about five more minutes left and then we're going to wash this out and put the toner on. I've had all the foils washed out and had my hair shampooed and this is the colour so far 
obviously this is not being toned yet so I'm just about to use an Opalex um, toner that the lady is just um, mixing together now ready to put on so it's gonna look lovely right we are reaching seven hours and the toner is on it's getting dark it doesn't it looks dark when you look out the window but it is super getting dark it's, like, it's currently 10 to 8 in the evening and i got here at 10 to 2. Oh, so it's been a while so we've got to wash this off and then obviously i've got to have it cut then and then blow dried right guys as you can see it is absolutely pitch black it is five past nine i have just left the salon seven whole hours i have been sat in a mask in the salon getting my hair perfect when i walk through the door i will quickly uh show you, you can see already it's really really blonde but i will show you as soon as i get in morning everyone so as you could tell it is actually the next morning it it was pitch black when i got home so i couldn't show you my hair i had no proper lighting in the house and all the kids were still awake but wanted to see me and you know what it's like so i thought you know what i'm just gonna add this on this morning to the video and just show you in a bit of a better light i'm literally stood right next to my window and it is absolutely pouring down i'll just show you it's just like honestly it's uh not great today um so yeah even the lighting now isn't too good even with my ring light behind it's just not showing up very well but i've got up got my makeup on i've got dressed and i thought i will show you so it took seven hours to get this finished look so I can't really show you the back I will turn around and hopefully you can sort of see but if you see I've had quite a lot cut off so now it's just touching the bottom of my boob whereas it was touching my bum yesterday so I have even though it's still long I've, I've had quite a lot cut off this um last night um, as you can see I because I wanted a caramel blonde so I didn't want like a bright bright blonde because I wanted to still have that natural brown that I am um but yeah I'm so happy it's so soft because I obviously had a treatment as well afterwards so um it just feels really good it's just so oh it's just so wispy whereas before it wouldn't it just didn't feel like this so yeah really happy guys let me just so pull it all to the front I mean, you can really see how blonde it actually is. Whereas, obviously, I was just completely natural. My natural colour was what you saw um, yesterday. There's no dye or anything in my hair. I've literally grown it all out. Other than I told you the literal tips, which have been cut off. So, if I can just get it a bit closer, you can just sort of see the... It's like a caramel beige blonde. Some of them are slightly lighter as well. But yeah, absolutely, just feels so amazing. And because I, it's balayaged, it's not to my roots. So I don't have to worry about this now for at least, I would say, four or five months now. The only thing that I would probably have to go and have um, touched up is a toner. Because she did say that the yellow tinge might come through after a couple of months it doesn't always but it will but she did say before i book an appointment to actually go and buy the silver shampoo and use that first because that generally takes away the tinges and everything could be fine which is what i used to use when i was a teenager anyway when i used to just put a box bleach all over my head and then i would put that on because that was the thing when i was a teenager but yeah uh i absolutely love it like it's even really light at the back as well you know normally when you you lift it up it's still dark at the back but oh it's lovely but yeah i'll turn around and see if i don't think you're gonna see much but 
just so that you can see what it actually looks like from the back. I'll go this. So it's a really nice, nice, nice caramel blonde. I'm so pleased with it. This cost me £95, um, which I think is a good price. I know they've had to up their prices slightly because of the pandemic, um, but this is a realistic price for the amount of work that she's had to put into my hair to get it this colour because if you're long haired like me you'll understand why it took seven hours is because it's so long, it's so thick, it takes hours just to put the foils and then obviously balayage it all through and that took the longest time and then you've got to wash it out, then you've got to put the toner on and leave that on so it, yeah, it's, it's very time consuming. But yeah, I'm absolutely in love with my hair, so it's a massive thumbs up for me. I love it. I feel like I've got to go somewhere now, but I can't. So I'm going to enjoy my hair indoors <laughs> with my red lipstick on. So yeah, thanks for coming with me to cinema, uh, the salon guys, and we shall see you in a few days. Bye for now.